Hey guys, my name's Kret, and today is a, a very special day. It's Kretsmas, it's my birthday. And the past year's been really awesome. This Mike community's been very good to me. I want to give back a little bit. Um, yeah, I already engage with the community a lot, but I wanted to give you guys access to a very powerful tool that I've made for theory crafting and, and learning more about the game. I call it Cret Calc, and it does four things. It does effective health calculation. It does TTK and DPS calculation. It does combo calculation. It does temporal simulation. We'll go through all of those because I want to give you guys, uh, want to show you how this thing works. It's a bit of a tutorial. Uh, if you just want to mess with it yourselves, down below there's a link. Uh, you click the link. It'll ask you to log in with a Google account make a copy and then it'll show up in your Google Drive, drive.google.com um, as CretCalc 2.0 PR, public release. Cool. So, let's do it. Um, I have every cal uh, character added into the game. Um, so, Ravana, newest god, we'll use him as a target. Now, you can add some auras, uh, heart word from another player, lotus crown passive, Cool. You can add items, Hydra's Amen, Highly Urchin. Let's do Highly Urchin. Bam, it is stacks. Stacks give bonus physical and magical protection. You can change the number of stacks you have. Sweet. Uh, you can also just add health, Fizz Prot, Mag Prot, if you need to for whatever testing purposes there are. And then you have uh, HP5, which is comes in later, and Lifesteal for a second also later. But what does this allow you to do? Well, this allows you to target, calculate effective health. So let's say you got a little late, right? And you're like, you're up against a mage. And you're like, shit. Well, what items could I buy? What if I bought a bulwark of hope? Effective health goes up to 3k. It's fuck time. Okay, what if we got a stone of Gaia? Effective health goes up to 2.5. That's pretty good. Uh, and then a mystical mail. Going up to 2k, and that's going to spit out uh, efficiency in terms of gold per effective health, right? Increasing, bam, and uh, also how much effective health you have. Now, what is effective health? It's your health uh, multiplied, or I, I guess divided by the amount of damage you can take. So if you take half damage, you have 2,000 health, you have 4,000 effective health. That means someone has to do 4,000 raw damage to you in order to make you die. Uh, effective health is a important stat for theory crafting. Down here, we've got the TTK and DPS calculator. It does both mages and uh, physical characters. We'll do Nisha. And you can just click that reset button. It'll go through and remove everything. So if anything breaks, hit the reset button first. Um, if anything breaks and you hit the reset button, start hitting Control Z. So, Nisha. Let's buy a Deathbringer. Buy a Deathbringer, a Hydra's Lament. Cool. So we've got in hand damage here. Now, in hand damage is a technical term. There are three things in Smite that go into your auto attacks there's physical power, which is the amount of physical power you get only from items, and, and buffs, like red buff, um, girdle, whatever. There's total physical power. Well, there's base physical power, which is from your character, right? Your base uh, physical power, your scaling is your base physical power, right? We well, call it innate physical power if you wanted to. Now, you add that to your physical power to get total physical power, which is um, your base plus your scaling, and, and that goes into auto attacks. That goes into crits, um, and that's used in some abilities. What's the next step? Uh, the next step is in hand power. There are certain things that add damage only to your in hand. They do not affect your physical power at all. They also don't affect malice. Malice takes total physical power, which is your uh, your base plus your scaling plus your 
uh, items in hand power. Something like Branching Bullets, Shablonki's 1, adds 50 in hand power. It doesn't affect your total physical power. It won't increase the damage from Malice, but it will increase the damage from your auto attacks and your crits. This is your in-hand damage, comes from your in-hand power. There's lots of things like that that are modeled in crit calc. It takes care of it for you, for the most part. So, attack speed, crit damage, crit chance, uh, and then spits out raw DPS. Now, raw DPS is basically a pretty simple formula. It's your chance to crit times your crit damage, plus your chance not to crit times your non-crit damage, multiplied by your attack speed. So here it's 20% of 400 times 80% of 163, uh, multiplied by 1.42. We get 300... Uh, 300.9. Now, then there's mitigated DPS. Um, mitigated DPS is the damage you do after your target's protections. We're up against Ravana. He's level 8. Let's up to level 20. Bam. 74 physical protection, right? So our mitigated DPS is 172. Now, we can use various buffs to increase our damage. Oh, Achilles Spear gives us 60. Purple buff gives us... 60 red buff gives us 40 soul eater gives us 20 sure void shield uh, is a 15 panora so it reduces their protections and all the protections stack in the proper way uh, which is percent reduction flat reduction percent pen flat pen so what happens if we add an execution one of the best pun items in the game this becomes full stack XE DPS and what that is it's the amount of damage that you deal when your executioner is fully stacked, stacked three times on your target. Now, I do fully model the executioner in the combo calculator in TTK and STK and last hit HP. You can't model it here. You can't model it here because basically the first three hits of the executioner are going to deal less damage than the rest. So. The longer the fight drags on, the smaller portion of the hole those three hits are, and your DPS increases. That's why it can't be modeled. So the the cutoff point is when the executioner is fully stacked, and that's full stack exit DPS. Um, we also have steroid steroid controls here. So this one we'll cover that later, but here steroid one enable flaming spear our crit chance goes up our dps goes up our attack speed goes up cool um this is for the combo calculator but basically there's there's four steroid boxes here um i don't think there are any extras oh yeah there's one for Bologna because she's got weapons um so basically you have up to four steroids the top two are drop-down boxes. Some of them are automated, but you just have to put them in place so it'll it'll register. Uh, and then here, these are um, you have to enter a modifier. If I put zero, my ring toss isn't hitting at all. If I put one, it's hitting once. That's how many times the ring toss is bouncing on the same target. Um, cool. So what's time to kill? What shots to kill? Well, that's how long it takes me to swing Ravana to death with my build. 4.61 seconds. Shots to kill is how many individual shots it takes, and that is going to include an executioner. Sweet. Um, that's this, and also it'll show your lifesteal if we get, like, Devo Gloves. 115 lifesteal per second. And if we use Achilles Spear, actually Achilles Spear might not have life still activated. Oh, it does. Yeah, so it goes up to 131. Cool. All right. Um, down here, this stuff. You've got your combo calculator, the third part of Crit Calc, what it does. So this is uh, a light temporal simulation of different abilities of variety of them. You can see the full ability list here. Um, so basically you've got your four standard abilities. Bam. Auto attacks, crits, Hydra's auto attacks, Hydra's crits, 
A lot of people know this, but Hydra's Lament does go into crits, so basically it should only be bought with crits. It's a shitty weird item, but I'm just buying it to show you guys how that works. Polynomicon for the mages. Soul Reaver for the mages. And then three additional abilities, and those these are basically just for ways to program past weird situations and characters. Uh... For example, the difference between a regular spirit ball and a max rank spirit ball, because max rank spirit balls do more damage, right? Cool. So you want to have access to all those, and, and you can, and they just come in drop down boxes here. So let's say that we walk in the team fight. The first thing we do is we apply flaming spear. It doesn't do damage. It's not a damaging ability. It's a steroid, and so that is going to take zero seconds. Or, sorry, it's going to start at zero seconds. You can see that here. It's going to continue at 0.4 seconds. Our next ability starts at 0.4. We'll auto attack. And this would be a Hydra's auto attack. Let's say it crits. It does 445 damage. Our next ability is going to start at 0.4. And this is because crit calc model is canceling. Basically, your swing on any character starts with some sort of windup that takes some period of time which correct calc does model accurately and so you swing and before the swing if you cancel it it doesn't happen right so you could go like bam and then sash and you would never hit but if you swing and you hit from the moment you do damage your character can cancel into anything without losing any dps it's not like abilities right if you are millery sash you are dedicated to that armillary sash for 0.8 seconds. But if you auto attack and then cancel into an armillary sash, it's a little bit different. And basically the auto attacks return swing time that would go into the next auto attack. If it doesn't happen, you immediately start using your ability. It's a crit armillary sash. After the sash, let's just go directly into the ultimate crit alt right here. Bam, doing <laughs> 2,000 raw damage, <laughs> 1,200 post mitigation. So raw damage, post mitigation, then total damage. Uh, and then we land, and let's do another auto attack and a universe ring toss. All right, so with our damage and this is fully modeling the executioner so that means when you hit with this auto attack it applies an executioner stack to the target when you hit with this auto attack it applies an executioner stack to the target universe ring toss is actually also going to apply its protection debuff properly because i can do that yeah so nice uh, we're doing however much damage 4673 raw damage after mitigation 2860 um, the raw burst DPS is 1,337. That's the amount of time, or sorry, that's the amount of damage divided by the amount of time. So, 4,673 divided by 3.49 seconds, right? Mitigated damage is the same thing. Uh, damage divided by time. Now, we've got cycle DPS over here, and you might not know what cycle DPS is. Cycle DPS is the amount of damage you did divided by the longest cooldown on your abilities. It's basically how much damage you can do by rotating through your abilities over and over and over. This is the stat that cooldown reduction increases, right? So if I do Joden's Wrath, my cycle DPS is going to shoot up to 478. If I do Crusher, which has the same physical protection or physical damage and, and more pen, my cycle DPS is going to be lower because cooldown reduction is by far the best stat for cycle DPS. It's a massive increase. Cool. What's this over here? This is the temporal simulation algorithm. I gave it a big name because I think that's funny. What's going to happen is it's going to benchmark every second, benchmark every second in the fight. Here we're attacking for four seconds. Now Granny dies at three, but shut up. Um, within the first second, we've done 445 damage. By the time the second second hits, we've done 992 damage. After, or when the third second hits, so this is right, like, 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3. By 2 to 3, we've done 2,722 damage. 
and then by 4 we've done 2860. This does account for HP5. I didn't get much, get much sleep, I'm sorry. This does account for HP5. It also comes for lifesteal, so let's let's give Ravana some pretty decent lifesteal. 200, right? Well, it's not going to keep him alive, but difference between 0 and 200. Look at this. 1600 health, 1100 health, bam. It's going up. We're life stealing, boys. Wait. Yeah, so that is, uh, that is the temporal simulation algorithm. Um, those are basically all the features of Crack Calc. I hope you guys like this. I hope it's something useful. I hope you learn more about the game. Um, uh, and you can just hit the reset. It'll just reset everything for you. If it ever breaks like this, hit the reset button first. If that doesn't work, control Z a few times. It's got every god. A bosh. Bam. Magic items. Whatever. You can use your abilities. Um, you'll have to tell it how many corpses you're popping when you use your two. Uh, he doesn't have any steroids. So, you know, we could undead surge, bleeding breath, corpse explosion. We're popping three corpses. And therefore, doing a total of 950 raw damage. Just from base values, because I've got no damage items. Stuff like that. So, I hope you guys like it. Um, I've spent countless, countless hours on Crack Calc. Months. It's just been a massive endeavor. It's taking a lot of time of effort. If you want to donate to the contribute... Donate to the continued development of this uh, program... You can just click this link, or click this button, a link will pop up, and it'll take you to PayPal to donate. Um, obviously, you don't have to, but I would appreciate it. Let me know if you guys encounter any bugs. Um, I'm sure there are bugs. This I have not been able to test anything. I'm doing this entirely by myself. There are some testers, but they never actually came to me with any bugs, which maybe is a really good thing. I don't know. Uh, so if you find any bugs, let me know on Twitter. Uh, there's going to be a Reddit thread. If you have any questions, you can drop YouTube comments. I will be reading them. I just hope you, this is useful. This is something you like. There's also a, a site on the Eager website. Um, but yeah, so basically you click the link down below, log in with your Google account, you click make a copy, it'll copy your drive, and then you can just use it, do whatever you want. Let me know if you find anything cool. Let me know if you need any help or whatever um you know I, I just want everyone to know a little bit more about the game i want us to be in, i want my players to be empowered i guess um and yeah so if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube follow me on twitter whatever you guys know where i am uh, i hope you like crack calc i hope i made your day a little bit better and i'll see you guys next time